Our top story this afternoon, Glenn Cassida announcing he will resign as Tennessee Speaker of the House. Cassida releasing a statement late this morning saying, quote, when I return to town June 3rd, I will meet with caucus leadership to determine the best date for me to resign as Speaker so that I can help facilitate a smooth transition, end quote. Now, the announcement following a closed door meeting mm. of the Tennessee GOP caucus yesterday, which ended in a 45 to 24 vote for a no confidence resolution. Cassida has been under fire since it came to light. His former chief of staff, Cade Cothran, sent racist and sexist texts. <laughs> Cothran resigned earlier this month. Cassidy responded to some of Catherine's sexist texts with inappropriate messages of his own. Well, now we're hearing from East Tennessee lawmakers on today's announcement, including Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally, who says he's glad the speaker decided to step down and says it is time to move on. He saw the writing on the wall. Now, I appreciate the Republicans joining us in the call for the speaker to resign. But the reality is we called for it two weeks ago. It was apparent this needed to happen. But they had to make sure it was politically expedient to do so, and that's a little bit frustrating. But right now, we'll join with them and do whatever it takes. Of course, that is Democratic State Representative Gloria Johnson there saying that she called for the speaker to step down for a couple weeks ago. She said she hopes the next speaker is more fair-minded. Now, we do want to hear <coughs> from McNally. Here's what he had to say. He did a very good job as far as the legislation and working with with the Senate and the budget. It was just the extracurricular activities that he had, he had a problem with. And uh, when you're in that position, when you're in the position he was in, uh, you have to be very, very careful and not indulge in those type things. Now you may remember this photo of uh, Johnson uh, waiting to be called on during a debate surrounding abortion on the floor. We'll have more on that coming up in a moment. We're also going to tie in at six. <coughs> We're going to hear more from Knoxville lawmakers uh, what they thought about Cassidy. Yeah, you know, Knoxville lawmaker Bill Dunn is yeah. next in line right. as Speaker of the House to take that gavel. So we will follow the process for you. All right.